Welcome to Every Day with Jesus for August 20th. Be reconciled. Matthew 18, 15. Moreover, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. Let's look at Matthew 18, 15. Matthew's in the New Testament, 18, 15. The title is A Brother Who Sins Against You. If your brother sins against you, go and show him his fault just between the two of you. If he listens to you, you have won your brother over. But if he will not listen, take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen to even the church, treat him as you would a pagan or a tax collector. Let's say something has come between Bob and Joe and they are estranged from each other. Bob believes Joe has acted inappropriately toward him, a professional offense of some kind. Joe is unaware that he has offended Bob, but he knows something is wrong since Bob has been avoiding him as of late. What should they do? Bob. Jesus' words in Matthew 18, 15 are for Bob, who believes Joe has sinned against him. Jesus said Bob should go to Joe and explain why he feels that Joe has acted inappropriately towards him. If Joe believes Bob and acknowledges the offense and seeks forgiveness, all is well. If Joe resists Bob's en entreaty, okay. If Joe resists Bob's entreaty, then Jesus has further instructions in Matthew 18, 16 to 20, which I kind of read on a little bit for Joe. As soon as Joe realizes Bob has something against him, he should go immediately to Bob and be reconciled to him. Discussion, prayer, humility, confession, forgiveness, whatever it takes. In fact, Jesus said this matter should be settled even before going to church. Ideally, Joe and Bob should meet each other on their way. I was just coming to see you. We need to talk. Don't let disagreements turn into estrangement and bitterness. Solve them Jesus' way. I like that. And I know so often times it seems like the person who's offended you, like we should be just be sitting and waiting for them to come and say that they're sorry. But very often, Jesus is what he's saying here is that we should just go to that person, you know, and just ask for forgiveness. And sometimes I know I've asked for forgiveness for things when actually it was kind of like the other person's fault, but it just opens up the door, gets the conversation going. And I always try to think about, is this going to matter in five minutes? Is it going to matter in five years? I mean, most things that we get so, so upset about aren't going to matter, especially for eternity. So just learn to let things like a duck roll off your back. You know how ducks, the water just rolls right off? That's a good lesson. Just let things roll off like a duck and um, just be quick to forgive. Life's a lot better that way. Have a great one and we'll see you tomorrow. You can order your own copy of the Every Day with Jesus devotional book by going to davidjeremiah.org or by calling Turning Point at 877-998-0222. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.